Hello my dolls, this is another cello tips and tricks vlog and this one involves tension in the bow. This is a top request, how can I make my fingers move more flexible? There are some exercises you can do. If we take our bow hand and just imagine we are holding a ball, we tip the ball over and I want you to think as if you are picking something up with your fingers and then you drop and then we can do the same thing in our bow hand shape pick something up curl our fingers and then we straighten the fingers coming up straighten the fingers so an exercise that involves the cello is we can replicate that feeling with our scales <laughs> great etude if you guys are in the popper books yet popper number one is a great exercise for this something with easier notes so you don't have to worry so much about the left hand and just focus on what the bow is doing <laughs> So we can also do this with long tones. How does the hand work when we're doing a long bow? So we're gonna start with, let's do open G. And when I'm by the frog, think of your fingers as being in that floppy flat position. And as you draw the bow, your fingers are gonna slowly start picking up the sound. Now if you're thinking picking up, but my bow's gonna come up. No, your bow will stay down if your elbow is sunken with your natural weight. And I do have a vlog about natural weight. So if you're curious about that, check that out. So as I draw my bow, my fingers are picking up. keeping that arm low. As you get more comfortable with this, start doing longer bows. Now, we're approaching the tip. The tip is a troublemaker. When we're at the tip, our weight is so far away. Our hand is so far away from the instrument. So what can I do if I sink? I'm gonna fall off. This is a very easy point for the thumb to activate and to try to take control and squeeze. So we need to figure out a way to get our weight and lean into the string. So I'm gonna show you guys a trick. My most recent teacher showed me and it blew my mind and I said, where's this been all my life? So in order to get your weight to sink into the tip, you raise your forearm a hair, a hair above your waist. It gives your weight a little prop to push and lean into the string by the tip. So, this is if my arm is completely flat. You're going to hear the sound fade away at the tip. My weight's not changing. It's just moving away so the sound goes away the arm a little bit. I'm gonna angle so you can see because you can't see. I'm lifting it a little bit and I can push. You hear how much fuller that sound is at the tip? Upper arm and my elbow come up a little bit higher right when I'm at the tip. If I exaggerate it, don't do this. See that I'm coming above so I can get my weight back into the string. I come from above on a more subtle, more appropriate scale. Get the elbow and the forearm a little bit above and push it through. Don't forget you are picking up with your fingers, picking up when you get to the tip. And your thumb curves and now your thumb is straight and relaxed and it's curving again 
And when you're at the frog, it's relaxed. And curved. Now I say that because if your fingers are moving, especially if the thumb is regularly bending and being straight, it's hard to clench and tighten something if it's moving. So floppy and down by the frog. And then as you come to the tip, we curl them all up. So tip, they should be curved. Frog, they can be flat. This is just the tip of the iceberg with right hand tension. But I really hope that is a good start for you dolls and that you have stuff to experiment and explore with in your practice room. Please give this video a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to the Cello Doll YouTube channel for all sorts of tips. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm the Cello Doll. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and of course here on YouTube. We'll talk to you soon with some more tips. Bye!